So what are DJs actually doing with this thing on stage? This right here, guys, is the future of DJing, the one instrument for the next years, the update we've been all waiting for. I'm really excited, really interested what it can do and what it can't do. Price, not so excited about. This is expensive. This is over like 2K, 2.3, something like that. It hurts. A box and a box and a box. Thank you. There it is. CDJ 3000. We have been waiting for this. The 2000 version was released in September 2012. So eight years for a full big upgrade in between. There was like a Nexus 2. But this is basically the instrument every single DJ on this planet, 90% will use for the coming years. This is the future, it's the club standard, it's in every single club, every DJ knows what this is. Tupac California Love. A classic, a real classic, but that's, that's how I started. This was the first true instrument of DJs. You could scratch, you could mix records into each other, we had a huge record collection. I collected plenty and plenty of records. Very expensive, very heavy, very annoying. These scratch easily. You have to replace them, take care of them, clean them, all that kind of stuff. The second evolution was then... I hated them because you had to burn them, which is a big waste of time. And you had to make these covers and labels and I mean, you can imagine like printing all of them, annoying, 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 annoying. I hated it. And for the CDs, you used the player back then, CDJ100. Very small, looks very ugly, not capable. It, it didn't do really well, was like really bad compared to vinyl. Everyone hated it, but it was like the first start into a new kind of direction. And a couple of years later, Pioneer introduced the CDJ1000 which was really good. It became the club standard within just two or three years. Every single club back then had two record players, two CDJs, 1000. And then there was like MK1, 2 and 3. And I think 3 was the most polished. And that's basically in the core what DJs have been using since. We had then a little switch from like the 1000 to the 2000 where CDs were like a CD drive was implemented as well as the capability of plugging in USB sticks and just playing MP3s. And now with this new iteration, the 3000, it's the first time that Pioneer got rid of the CD slot. So it's actually not a CDJ anymore, it's a media player. Come on. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I have to admit, it looks just epic. It just looks so epic. I didn't think it would look this good, but this is like Darth Vader had a child with Venom together. Wow, 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 wow. At the same time, also shit, 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 because you need two of these to actually DJ and I can only afford one. <sighs> there goes my... So what are DJs actually doing with this thing on stage? If you ever wondered what they do, I'll try and explain it. Basically, if you're familiar with like any media player, that's basically it, just on steroids. You have the waveform up here, 
you can select songs with this one right here in a menu and then select a song that will then be played out to the mixer that you use to mix between two songs. And there are actually a couple of things that make it different. For example, you have this one right here. You can speed a song up or down, slow it down up to 100% plus and minus to make it really, really slow or really, really fast. Also, these two buttons right here. The play button is clear. You hit it, the song plays. You hit it again, it stops. But the Q button is something not a lot of people are familiar. A DJ uses the Q button to mark a spot in a song. Usually the very first kick, the very first like part and start of a song and hits it repeatedly to beat sync it with another song. So basically making two songs the same speed, lining them up so that they're like the, the beats are on top of each other. Just imagine two dancers dancing at a different speed. You tell one of them to speed up until he's the same speed as the other one and it looks a lot a lot better, like, like a real performance and not like bullshit. Same with DJing, if you screw up the beat matching, it sounds horrible. You can also switch it to vinyl mode. In vinyl mode, this platter right here, very satisfying. I actually don't like the sound of it. Anyway, so you can touch it and scratch. Sounds 99% like rear scratching, 95%. And you can also, with this right here, speed a song up or down by a bit. You got your forward reverse. You can set loops, looping just like a short part of a song. You can set cue points, different parts in a song, jump from the very beginning to the middle to the end, wherever you set these, you can jump there. You can set in and out points to, again, loop a section and make it repeat and repeat and repeat forever. And that's pretty much it. Like, sure, there is more to it, but like the basics, it's a media player where you can speed up, slow down songs and make them align with another song. If anyone would ask me to rate this instrument, if you even want to call it an instrument, but that's what DJs use on stage, I'd say it's like from one to 10, like a 0 0.4 on the difficult scale. Like, I don't know, guitars, maybe a four. Playing the violin is probably a 10. It's easy. It does most of the stuff for you. You can even just like, where is it? Right here. You hit key sync and it does the syncing for you. So all you have to do is start the next song. Yeah, DJing is actually that simple. It's more about building a brand, getting on stage, making a lot of money. The actual part of DJing, technically speaking, very easy. The experience part to know which song to play when and like not being nervous and all that kind of stuff probably takes the bigger role nowadays with machines like this. Anyways, I will play around a little with it. Also like just continue making music for a bit because that's why I'm here. This is just a big distraction. And yeah, give you like a conclusion about what I think about it. My main issue with the Pioneer CDJ 3000 is probably best described by me rope jumping. You see, when you're rope jumping, your main goal is to save energy as much as possible. And that's easiest to accomplish by jumping as low as possible. And that's exactly what Pioneer did, unfortunately. They were the market leader, but they didn't innovate. They didn't bring anything forward. They didn't even catch up with the competition. They just did the bare minimum. And don't get me wrong, this right here is a fantastic product. It's just four years too late. Their biggest competitor has all of these functions and features already for years. And their newest model has even more, you can directly stream on it. You can just plug in a USB stick with MP3s without analyzing it, the device does it. You can unplug it and it keeps the power for a couple of seconds. It has two layers, basically you get two of these for the same price. And I expected Pioneer to at least catch up, but they didn't even try. And the sad part is they will get away with it, 100%. Their market lead is so ahead Every DJ uses them. No one is switching to any other kind of product. Every single club has them. It won't change, at least not with this generation. Maybe with the one that comes out after this, if they screw up again, I think they're in trouble, but this again is enough.
Don't worry, it's all good. Way more exciting. 130 bucks, way, way more fun. Way more fun. This little box right here, 250 euros, way more exciting. Tomorrow. In five minutes, having dinner with my parents, way more exciting. Heck, even me sitting here on the couch talking to a camera is more exciting. So please, pioneer. Be true to your name and make new stuff. Please, like this run right here, it's not even catching up to, to all of the other available media players. That's not enough in my opinion. And Pioneer was once a company that like brought new stuff to the table. I'm, I'm missing like, where is it? Anyways, let me know what you think about it. Do you like the new player? Is it something you consider to get? Or is it just like, that mandatory update to just keep things afloat.